Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what are related lists or relationships in ServiceNow and how can we build them. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. Now what are related lists? So they appear on your form. For example, on this incident form at the bottom, there are some related lists which are out of the box like task SLA, affected CIs and all. And then you can create your own related list as well. So related lists appear at the bottom of the forms and show records and tables that have relationships to the current record. Now, whatever SLAs are related to this incident record will appear here. Then if there are any CIs related to this incident, they will appear on this tab. And this all can be configured in related list through relationships. Next is there should be two tables which should have a reference with each other. For example, in this screenshot, we have a problem record and a related list of incidents. Now both of these tables should have a relationship with each other. Now if we see at this related list on the incidents, we can see there is a condition called problem equals to this number. So that means this incident record has a field of problem and the number is matching here to the problem number. So this is what we have shown in this example. There might be multiple incidents created for a problem. So we can show all the incidents related in the same problem in a related list. So this would be essential when you are closing a problem, you know what are all the incidents related to that and you can close all the incidents in one shot. Next, we will be creating a related list on the location table to show all the users who belong to that location. In other words, on the location table, we will have a related list from the user table and it will match if the location of that user is same as the current location of the record which we have opened. And then next we will remove the new button which would be created automatically. Let's quickly jump to service now and I will go to the location table first. And I'll open one random record. And now we are planning to add a related list here which will show the list of all users which belong to this location. For that, we will have to type relationships and under system definition, we will click on this relationship and open in a new tab. And we will be able to see all the relationships which are present out of the box. We can go ahead and create our new relationship by clicking on this new button. Now we have to give the name of this relationship. For example, we can give user on location and then we can click on advance to do scripting for which tables to select. But we already know our tables. We can directly select them. The first field is applies to table. You will have to select the table name where you want to create the related list on. So we want to create a related list on location table. So I will select the location table. I will select this and then it says queries from table. Now we have to select the table from where we have to bring the records from and that is our user table. I will select sys underscore user and I will select this. Now we have to write a query that how it should bring the records from the user table. For that there is a template already given here how to query that. If I copy this. And then we will have to write the query here. There are two parameters in this function already. If you can see current and parent. Current refers to the user table. That is the second table uh, which we have selected here. And the parent table refers to the location table. Now if I go to the user table and open it in a new tab. And I'll open some random user. And if we check the location field here and right click on this, I will get the backend name of this location. So I will write location dot name. I use dot walking because 
this is a reference field here and we want to compare the name of that location with the location tables name in the value we have to give the name of the location which we want to compare it with if i go to this location table i can right click on the name and i can see the backend name of this location name is name and then i will refer to this parent so i will say parent dot name now it is querying from this current user table to the parent table i will save this and as soon as it is saved we will note that in the query we have written that the location dot name in the user table should be compared to the parent dot name in the location table and now we will go to the location table we will right click on the top and say configure related lists and as soon as the list is open it will show all the related list which are present on the location form we will search ours by typing users on location and i will move it on the right of the slash bucket and save it and as soon as i save it you will see a new tab has been created but probably this location doesn't have any users on that i will go to able tutors location i will copy this and i will search this location on the location table i will paste the name here and i'll go here and we can see there are 17 users on this location including able tutor if i open some random user for example sherry we can see the location of this user is shs quadra there are other options on relationship record as well which we can use that is like current dot order by if you want to order the list which is appearing here or maybe you can use current dot add active query so if you see you can use all of these options add query add encoded query and then add active query as well if i just save this and make this sherry user as inactive and save this again and then i will go back to the related list where we can see this sherry user as of now and it is active true and as soon as i refresh this this user shouldn't appear here and there should be 16 records and we can see the sherry user doesn't exist here and we have a total of 16 records now next task is to remove this new button i will right click on any of the headers and then go to configure list control and in the list control we have the option to omit the new button i will mark it as true and i will submit this and we are not able to see that new button now the significance of that new button is as soon as you click on that new button it will open a new user record so we don't want users to create new records from this related list so that is the use case where we will want to remove that new button i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in comments if you have any questions please do subscribe to my channel